Y'all thought the biggest Bulls fan in the world was gonna let this shit rock? Hell fucking no. Let's get it. So, guard for me. You think it's okay to just trade great players? You think it's okay to just, you know, wake up one morning and say, eh, we're gonna trade Derrick Rose. Hell fucking no. It's not okay. What is wrong with you? Are you serious? Like, I... You have to be some type of dumb. Like, there has to be something wrong. Do you... Were you thinking? Were you thinking? You're just gonna make Knicks good again. Now, mind you, that's not even the problem, yo. That's not even a problem, alright? It's not about the Knicks being good again. It's not about the Knicks having a chance to contend with us. That has nothing to do with... It has to do to the fact we traded our own blood. Our own blood. Now, this year, LeBron... Finally won one for his city. Now you saw what that did for the NBA. And the thought of D. Rose being able to win for one for his city? You just gonna throw that out the window. Like that ain't even a possible. Are you serious? You just gonna act like this man ain't never been an MVP. You gonna act like this man can't ball at a high level. We have one of the best guards in the league. Point guard and shooting guard. Are you serious? And you just decide to try. What? I'm, I'm trying to stay. I'm trying to stay calm. I'm trying my best. What could have been going through your fucking skull that would possess you to do that? Are you serious? Now, mind you, Joaquin Noah already didn't trust you. With good reason, I see now. I understand why he doesn't trust you. I don't trust you. Every fan does not trust you. Because of what you did. Are you serious? You gotta be kidding me, man. There's no way. There's no freaking way. And I did not, I did not believe it when I heard this nonsense. I said, no, there is no, see, I heard it and still didn't believe. I saw the article and still, I believed it was speculation because I said there is no way you're that dumb Gar Foreman. Not to mention, he's my favorite player. Ooh. Who does that? Y'all niggas think this shit is a joke, man. This shit ain't, man. Hold on, bro. Excuse me, man. Come on. I can't, man. Fuck, man. Come on, man. It, bro. Thank you for calling the Chicago Bulls, but our office is closed now. Office hours are from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. Mm. Directory of general information. Fuck, man. Oh, I hate y'all, man. Why would you do that? God, I didn't already talk to a bitch from over there, man. I didn't cuss her out. Why would you do that? Who? This man is our own blood. You just threw him to the wolves. Gasol may not come back. And Joakim Noah already didn't trust you. He may not come back. All we have is Jimmy Buckets. And I'll get to the draft in a second. I'll get to the draft in a second. But I got to get this off my chest, man. Gar, I swear. And I solemnly swear. No lying, no bullshit, none of that. This man, Jimmy Butler, leaves Chicago. I'm coming for you, and I put that on everything. Do you fucking hear me? If we don't make the playoffs this year, I put it on everything. I'm coming to find you. If we don't go to the Eastern Conference Finals, I put it on everything. I'm coming to find you. If New York is the people who kicks us out the fucking playoffs on everything, I'm coming to find you. And that's on me. Fuck.
fuck, man. I'm so angry, bro. I can't even. I can't even fathom man, the idiot. Oh, you gotta be a dumb Positive idiot. Vibes. Positive vibes. Positive vibes. E. We drafted a player named God, Denzel man. Valentine. Fuck, my phone just dropped. And you know what? At first, I was like, who is this man? But I heard around, and I heard some things. You know, I don't keep up with college basketball. I don't really watch college basketball at all. So, I was confused. I was solemnly confused. And given the fact, I knew we had to pick up somebody in this draft that could play the point guard at a starting position. Because Jose Calderon, so help me God, man. He's not no starting point guard. He'll definitely not be a starting point guard for us. I so when I seen this man, I said, this is our new starting point guard. What can he do? So I looked, and I looked, and I looked, and I listened. And I looked, and I'm going to be honest with you, man. I'm going to be honest with you. He looks like he could fit into the squad. He looks like he could fit into the fucking squad. And you better be so fucking glad he looks like he could fit into the squad. Because on me, if he couldn't, this would be your fucking ass. Do you hear me, you fucking bitch? I don't think you understand what I'm trying to tell you. And Denzel, you're on my team now. So let me tell you. Oh, you thought you were good, motherfucker? Oh, no, you're part of my team now. So, oh, you, you're under scrutiny. Study under this man, Jimmy Butler. Study under this man, Jimmy Butler. Listen to the things he tells you. Listen to the keys, my nigga. Grind your ass off. You look like a hard worker. You look like a good player. You look like you have a good future. Grind your ass off. Listen to Jimmy. And you'll be fine. If you do the things that you've been doing. From the beginning. And don't ease up now that you're in the NBA. Don't be okay now that you're in the NBA. Do what you gotta do. We will be fine. And with all this being said. I want to thank. I said, dang, what the fuck? I want to thank Derrick Rose for everything he's done for us. I apologize and ended the way he did. But, you know, sometimes it's best for both of us. I wish him the best. If we don't win, I want him to win. That's facts. But Denzel, you better come with the fucking heat, my nigga. Or you're next on a hot plate. And Gar, oh, you, oh, fuck you. And I promise you, man, don't play my team. Gar, it's going to be your ass. Thank you, Derek Rose, for all you've done for us, man. Facts. I'm out, man. Fuck. Fucking bullshit!